Good. <laughs> I, I, I'll do the changes on my TV. <laughs> I, have to, I have to. She has to change. <laughs> Okay, my name is Carlotta and I'm 58 years old and I'm a Spanish interpreter. Gotcha. And uh, why are you here today? Tell us why you're here. Well, I was in a car accident. I was um, uh, rear-ended um, and I was pushed in front of a car, of another car. Hit really hard. It was, yeah, it was uh, really... Yeah. She couldn't take her car home. She had to take the bus home, I think, or something. You said, right. right? Something I like had yeah. to take my I just remember that bus, right now. Yes. Gotcha. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, where is your pain? Where Where is your pain? Well, my pain is in my neck, um, especially my neck and my back, mid back and low back. How has life changed since the accident? How has is it? Has things gotten worse? It's like hard to sleep, hard to work. Any change in things that well, were normal before? Definitely, things have gotten worse because I'm having. Um, nightmares i mean i i remember the accident i have oh wow okay back flashes yep. 25 years ago yes yeah, 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 yeah. and i went to see a chiropractor and he said you have fibromyalgia and i didn't know anything about fibromyalgia i didn't even know that term existed exactly. so i started mm, doing research and i um do you think you have it with the research Definitely. Doctors uh, always tell me that they cannot treat it. IBS has been a very, um, it's been very difficult for me to deal with this condition. I'm, I'm gluten-free and I don't eat desserts or pastries, things that I love to eat. Difficulty sleeping, I couldn't, um, I wake up at nights and uh, it's, it's it, I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. Sleep or apnea. I've taken tramadol, and okay, I've so taken, drugs, yeah. I have the fact that this very frustrating. I bet it is. And if you see her face right now, what you can't see, she's almost crying because how much pain is this? It's probably a nine. A nine. Her knees and her back. Tell us how much pain in both. Uh, my back's probably a eight. My knees are probably a ten. Okay, here we got Carlotta's X-rays. Three millimeter right imbalance and five degree curve. Here we have a twenty. Two millimeter left imbalance and irritable bowel syndrome. Here we have three quarters atlas wear, reverse curve, and C5, C6 arthritis, pretty bad. Thoracic arthritis, pretty significant, and anterior listhesis of L4. Well, overall, I feel great. This is, um, it's, I'm very um, happy. I feel um, I have improved so much. Uh, my pain level is down to two. Um, and you talk about your pain level being fibromyalgia. Tell us right. about, because you keep coming in and she, I don't even ask this question. She keeps wanting to share it with me. My fibromyalgia was a what before and what is it now? It was a 10, like emergency room every other month or every month. And now it's down to two. It's great. And also- What does that mean to you? Because people out there with fibromyalgia have no idea what that means. It means what does a two mean to somebody like you? It means that you can do a lot of things. You can uh, be able to, exercise, do exercises, uh, be out if you need to go out. It feels, Interesting. Uh, your body feels just yeah. like want to do a lot of things that you didn't do before. Yeah. You sleep much better. It's okay, yesterday was a little tough on her, a little tough on the adjustment because it was um, her first time with the Atlas. But as she said, which I don't have on camera, she said after the adjustment, she goes, She's the first time she felt amazing after an adjustment. And so when she was walking yesterday, she said she felt way, way, way different, which I love. So hopefully a good night's sleep and some movement will help us get a better adjustment today. Okay, you're doing great. I'm gonna turn to the left for me a little bit, turn to the left. Yeah, it's really tight here, guys. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Mm -hmm. See how much better that was today and yesterday? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, way, 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 way better. Good for you. Now, what about the pain wise in that? Uh, probably a uh, four. The reason I take my time, guys, is because I want to allow the patient to relax. And then, that's it. You're doing good. You're doing good. She won't let me have her head completely here. Wow. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I used to cry. I remember I used to scream and, and make faces, but I, I don't feel that pain like that I used to good, from good, the good, beginning. Good. I think it's great. Uh, she came with a lot of issues, and we just went over uh, 15 different issues, okay? But I'm going to highlight all these, and then we'll go through and kind of pick some of them out. Pick some of them out. She came in with whiplash from her neck. She's 90% better there. Headaches, 100% better. Low back pain, 90% better. She doesn't have hardly, hardly any pain anymore. Ear pressure. She had ear pressure in her right ear, and that's 90% better. Uh, chest pain from the accident. Um, let's see. She had uh, left sciatica pain on her left leg. Uh, she had sleep issues because of all the pain. All those are 80 to 100% better. She also had some interesting things from pole dancing. She pole dances, and so she does that for exercise. And she had a left knee issue that was killing her for a long time behind her knee. And that is so much better too. It's probably about 80% better, I would say. But tell us about the stability. Tell us about stability. Well, I have to wear my six inches heels and dance and do uh, a lot of very slow moves on the floor. And I was wobbling that I, I couldn't stand on my feet because I was losing my balance but now with all this treatment I'm able to flow very easily I can stand and uh, cr do crashes with my high heels I can do a lot of things on the floor with my high yeah. heels I thought it was interesting because you know the high heels are very hard to stand in six inch high heels right and she talked about having better stability and again I like that as a chiropractor because I work on balance with her and she has better balance and she can hand, even though I'm not going to recommend standing in six inch heels but she can do a better job and she enjoys it much better good and so her knees better also tell us about the biggest thing here well, well depression she's hundred percent better in depression this is years of depression years of anxiety 40 yes. years yes. of anxiety um, uh, but the big things I want to talk about here is uh, the fibromyalgia. Tell us about fibromyalgia. Yes, it's unbelievable that I've been dealing with fibromyalgia for so many years, uh, close to 30 years, and with this treatment in just a couple of weeks, I was able to manage it, manage all this pain that was uh, there for, built up for so many years, and I was able to release it all to the point that I can uh, let it go things handle them in a better way and I don't have th that pain built up because of all the things that we deal with in our daily lives. In the past, I used to get angry, yell at people, scream and and get desperate, impatient. Uh, people honestly didn't want to deal with me. They just want me out the door. Yeah. How much better of an experience is it now not having to lose control like that? Having more control, is it a better, it's a much better experience in life right now, right? It's much better because you don't feel all that pain inside of you from fibromyalgia for, that builds up for being that angry and not able to let it go. So it's, it's a miracle how you feel. You feel that you saw release of that pain. You feel uh, just um, like uh, like yeah. you're walking in clouds. So if you guys come in and think I can help you, I can only if you do the work. Right, because I thought this is my last uh, opportunity. I I try. I have tried it all. I've done it all. I this has to work, and it did work. Yeah, yeah. I love this girl for doing this. Uh, tell us about the IBS. This is a big oh, one. So you guys. Yes who have fibromyalgia have lots of IBS, constipation, Crohn's disease, all this stuff goes hand in hand with that anxiety. So tell us about your IBS. Well, I used, uh, I had diarrhea or constipation either or to the extreme and now I can eat a lot of things. <laughs> During the holidays, my sister was surprised because I was eating at the table with them. All the mm -hmm. food that they ate, I ate it. And before I couldn't enjoy the company of them, their company because I was not eating what they were eating and that's not nice. And I was, my sister was surprised, I was so happy. I ate what I like and I've been feeling great. I have no problems yeah. at all. And I love her because she has had this horrible kind of fibromyalgia life and now she has this new life and she can see the difference. So she's really great at talking about it and sharing her feelings and sharing how she's doing. So any else you want to share? Well, I just want to thank you for all the help that you have uh, provided me, that you have, uh, uh, I think that I have learned a lot and it's a learning process and practicing it and put it in practice. And uh, it's every day you have to 
put it in practice and um, just... She was, um, she was even oh. mentioning, she goes, now that I get, when I get stressed, I can feel my shoulders do this. Uh, I can feel my body do it all thing. I'm more aware of what causes me this stress and I know how to manage it. Exactly. So that's all I can help her. That's all I can say is perfect. I, I've brought her to a point where she can manage her own pain and manage her own thing. So you have to be committed. Committed. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get her treated. Uh, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Yep. Painful, right? Yes. Yep. Why is it painful, guys? Because she does this to mm -hmm. herself. Exactly. I mean, all the great things she just said about me and all the great things she said about the program, it's all for naught if she doesn't change the yes. way she sleeps. I said I have to do that with the TV. Good. I'm not punishing her for not doing it. It's just she still is hurting herself over and over and over again. And I hope you guys see that this is an important thing yes. because... And she should see it's important that she needs to make the changes or she's going to go yes. right back to the way she was. Because I watch TV a lot of hours on the weekends and I notice that. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. She's a little nervous because that other side hurt <laughs> a little bit. I can tell. Okay, you're fine. Can we have your head? Can we have your head? Good. <laughs> I, I'll do the changes on my TV. <laughs> I have to. I have she to. has to change. <laughs>